right, so just got my ticket to the Sausage Museum. Uh, the boys left me. They are waiting outside because they didn't want to come. I have no idea why. <laughs> Man. It's tough to just find the English things. I don't have uh, Jordan to help me out. These have got to be the biggest french fries that I've ever seen. Look at this. I could just walk off with this and they'd never know. I'm taking this home. <laughs> uh oh. I think I broke it. Oh. Okay. This is all about biodegradable things. I mean, sooner or later, everything you put on the ground will eventually degrade. That's kind of how it works, right? I mean, it doesn't just sit there forever. Forever is kind of a long time. Okay, it's quiz time. Let's see if I can test my knowledge about paper plates. What material is used to manufacture paper bowls? Uh, cellulose. Continue. I got it wrong. Uh, let's try this again. Um, which of these was a material used in the very first paper. Uh, fish food, fishing nets, or fishing line. Anybody got an answer? Okay, I heard fish food. It's very malleable, probably. Nope, I got it wrong. I'm not doing so hot. Oh, it was fish nets. Where does the wood come from? Ah, uh, European trees. Probably, because we're in Europe. Correct. Got it. Man, there's seven of these questions. I'm just going to skip to the end. Alright, so it looks like I scored um, four out of seven, I think. It doesn't really say the number, but I'm going to go with four out of seven. It just says very good. A result you can be proud of. So I'm going to assume that I would be proud of four out of seven. So, you know, go me. Paper. Um, that's got to be right. They're all different colors, so I would assume so. Scissors are used to chop up cherries, and then as long as well, as long as you know what you're doing, you can take those chopped up cherries and then make books. That's got to be what this thing means. So this is everything that goes into Currywurst. We got tomatoes, onions, sea salt. Now you can't just use normal table salt because, oh wait, it just says salt. Never mind. Chili. Of course we need some sugar. Uh, what do we got? Oh, the vine gar, vinegar, oil and water, because 
they couldn't have an extra thing, of course. And then factor X, which doesn't... It's too much reading, but X marks the spot, so... Okay, so we've got this little station here where they've got all the spices that's used to make curry verse. Now, it's a bit difficult. It's just a top thing and it's got a question mark on it and you're supposed to smell it because I guess I can't really taste it. Well, I mean, I can try it. And then guess what the spice is that's being made. Mm. Um, it doesn't really smell like anything. It kind of just smells like something that's green. So, I don't know. This is fennel. Then we got this one. Oh, that's cinnamon. Cinnamon. Got it. This one all the way down here. Ooh, that's really bad. I don't know. Clove. Uh, I don't know what this one is. I'm not even going to try. Ginger. Ah. That's nutmeg. Yes, it is. <laughs> Whoa. What? I wonder what will happen if I open them all. Let's see. Now that's success. Mm. Are these real? I don't think any of this is real. But these are. All right, I made my own curry burst. Well, fake curry burst. And I think it looks amazing. Although it's not covered in ketchup and mayonnaise, I think it would pass. They have sausage cartoons. Look at that. I guess it's a comic book, not a cartoon. I'm sorry. Don't hate me, everybody. The Hamburger Legend. I think this solves the debate. Hamburgers over hot dogs all the time. But I guess it's kind of an oxymoron because this is a sausage place. And I mean, sausage is basically the hot dog's older brother. So. I have a dream. And here's Thelma. Good to know, Thelma. Good to know. Oh, what do we got here? There's no English equivalent, so. We'll never know, guys. Lots of dairy. Um, this is just the dairy section of the fridge, I guess. You got apples, cheesecake, milk, potatoes, I guess that's a dairy, ice cream, um, and that kind of looks like an onion. Yeah. Regular old dairy section of the fridge. Alright, it looks like we got a bit of a movie thing going on here. But, I just missed it. So, 
I guess you guys missed it too. Oh well. Let's go find the fridge. On the fridge. Wow. Fully stocked. So close, yet so far. Oh, thanks, Tom and Merrick. They left us this little curry king, but can't get it. Second time's the charm. Just out of reach, guys. Oh, see? I would have eaten those vegetables too, but they're just, uh, it's just too bad I was going to do it, uh, but now I can't. Oh, so sorry. Wow. Very stingy on their meals here. All right, so I found something that kind of looks like vitamin water, and I'm gonna see. Maybe this is them saying that they've invented vitamin water. The evolution of the utensils. Wow. Obviously, it's upside down, so you can't really read it, but. That's meat water. That's probably the water that they use <laughs> to make the sausages. Like what? I don't really have a story. <gasps> but I do like writing in books. What should I write? I'm gonna write that Jordan and Matt stayed outside. Also, I don't really understand what this is. They gave me this thing that I was supposed to follow but I'm already lost. Gotta go for red. all over the world. Hey, look at that. They spell Canada with a K. Or maybe, maybe we spell Canada with a C and we've been spelling it wrong this whole time. They've got a little bit of 
everything for everybody. Even Melmer can come to Berlin and enjoy some currywurst. Look at that. That's Berlin for you guys. Yeah. <laughs>